ASMR intro to make us feel relaxed, calm, and ready to watch another video. Welcome back to another video, everybody. So, yes, the main focus of my channel is supposed to be design content. Uh, so it might be a little bit confusing to some of you to be seeing this video on here. And I promise we're not stepping away from the design content. I've just been wanting to do this for a little bit now. <laughs> I am simply built different. I managed to make this video design related. Enjoy, everybody. Yes, in my somewhere near my location, I have found Prime. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I decided I wanted to do like an honest review of this stuff, you know? I've seen a lot of the reviews for it online, and a lot of people have been saying it's good, you know? A lot of people have been saying it's better than Gatorade, better than Powerade. And you know, as much as I uh, really like uh, JJ's content, and uh, I do enjoy uh, Logan's content whenever he made it, and you know, I respect him as a person now, I like watching his podcast. At the same time, I'm someone who is chronically allergic to bull so you know, um, I'm not saying that all these reviews were lying, I just want to see it for myself. Because at the end of the day, let's be real, some of these reviewers could be just giving praise just to get on KSI and Logan's cool list, you know? And I'm not saying all of them are, I'm just saying I want to try it for myself. Now I found three flavors, I got lemon lime, blue raspberry, and the one that seems to be everyone's favorite, tropical punch. They were the only three I could find. Uh, if I find orange and grape, I'll probably like post it on my TikTok or something. Although personally, I'm not looking forward to grape just because I typically don't like grape flavored anything. I have to say, when I finally found these, I, I it was just so surreal, you know? Finally looking at the bottle, feeling its presence, its strength. The moment I touched it, I felt the power in my core of YouTube boxing, of strength, knowledge, integrity. I, it just, it felt like a normal plastic water bottle. I honestly, you know, it's, it's cool though, you know, it's an interesting design. No, I mean, you know, from a design aspect, uh, I am an industrial design student, uh, so I can't really say much for the actual marketing. Um, but obviously I do have slight knowledge when it comes to graphic design. Uh, so what I can say is that what I like is that obviously kind of like Gatorade and Powerade, they made the color um, an extremely prominent part of it, which makes it stand out, you know? Uh, what I also like is that, um, especially since they're a newer brand, they made the logo really big and really easy to see. So, you know, um, it, it's good to make it stand out and show that this is prime, you know? In terms of the bottle itself, I mean, it's nothing special. It's, it's, it's your generic bottle. It's got these ridges on it, which I guess you could argue make it, at least give it a form of grip, um, which is nice, I, I suppose. But for the most part, it is just, you know, your typical tall cylindrical bottle. And it is a nice looking bottle. I'm a very simplistic person, so I do appreciate the simplicity. Something that I might say, and this I first heard from uh, JJ's friend Mini Minter, is that uh, he personally felt that it would have looked better if the prime was like the other way. So if the P was like down here and it was going up, and I guess I could kind of agree with that, but to be honest, I wouldn't say it's a huge deal. It's not like it's like a massive problem. What I also actually like though, and this is going to be, uh, if KSI or Logan are watching this, I will say that um, something I definitely prefer, strictly design speaking, is that the flavor is up here in nice large letters. Because with like Gatorade, the thing is that it's usually in a box down here in white letters. So you have to like kind of like look around and like squint to actually see what flavor it is sometimes. And yeah, I know I'm slightly exaggerating on that, but like overall, this is easier to see. But now what if we do a little bit of comparison to their competitors? Now, of course, like I'm, I'm just doing this purely to focus on the design uh, because that is kind of what I'm here for. I'm not trying to say, hey, you should get Prime instead of like these competitors or drinks just because, you know, KSI Logan Paul. I'm just saying I want to make a comparison uh, purely on the design of the bottles. Uh, and I guess I could get into a little bit of the design, like the graphic design uh, that's like actually gone into it. So uh, kind of starting off with uh, one of their competitors, Body Armor, which I think that personally I I'm seeing that 
the bottles uh for body armor are like the closest to prime um out of any of the competitors so like we can see here that it has the same pretty much basic cylindrical design with the ridges that go along it uh obviously the only difference is that the body armor bottle is slightly tapered uh in the center that's pretty much it uh, otherwise, this is the Body Armor 16 fluid ounce um, bottle, just like this Prime. This Prime is 16, well, 16.9 fluid ounces, but pretty much the same size. Um, and it's, I don't know if the Prime team got the bottle inspiration from Body Armor. If they did, you know, it's perfectly fine. You know, it's your basic bottle. It's thin enough that it's easy to hold for most people. Um, so I don't have any complaints with that. It is quite easy to hold so this is powerade's closest uh competitor to the 16 fluid ounces this is 20 fluid ounces it's the closest in size so when you look at this uh it looks like it's a tad bit taller uh but it also has like the ridges on the sides which obviously gives a little bit more grip and you have to note that these are sports drinks so you assume that the people drinking it are working out doing something athletic so you obviously want there to be a little bit of grip being that i have drank powerade before i know that the plastic is has some texture to it especially on those grips because you're sweaty you know when typically when you're drinking this so you want to be able to easily grab hold of the bottle i i honestly don't really see any downsides to these bottles i mean uh, for the most part there, there's nothing wrong with them i guess maybe for some people like some of these extra ridges that you see here like where the powerade logo is um you know when you're holding it especially for people with like bigger hands you know those ridges are gonna your, your hand's gonna go over those ridges it might annoy some people I, I don't think anyone's gonna notice but you know at this point i'm just nitpicking now this is gatorade's 16 fluid ounce bottle and uh logan and ksi have made it quite clear that they're going after gatorade with prime it's a fairly simple bottle um it's got the weird taper near the top and then underneath of the wrapper it has the inset rectangles why it has those i'm not sure whenever i've held onto these bottles they they do have like a really strange grip to them which i guess that's their point it's supposed to be a grip but the design flaw i see here is that it's underneath the wrapper so it becomes literally almost pointless yes when you're holding on to it the wrapper's gonna bend in and it's gonna fold into the crevices but it's still a smooth wrapper so if their intention with those inset rectangles under the wrapper was grip you're kind of losing on it by putting the wrapper above it now do i think it makes it a bad bottle overall no i mean it's for the most part, it's still a small, thin, comfortable bottle to hold on to. And at the end of the day, I mean, that's more than what you could ask for. With that said, might as well actually try the actual drink, you know? See if they're actually all that they're cracked out to be. See if these reviewers were telling the truth or if they're lying. All right, so it's time to try this stuff. Uh, I got my brother here. He wants to help out with this. So he's got his own prime. I have my prime. Um, excuse the lighting. The lighting is really weird in this room. Uh, so which one are we trying first? I say blue. You say blue? That's just because I'm like blue fanatic. Okay, but so we'll try blue first. Blue is blue raspberry. Um, and then I guess since we only have three, uh, if I get my hands on like orange or grape, then I'll review those probably on my TikTok. Link is down in the description. Go check that out. Are you sharing one bottle? No, we're not doing that. Not oh, weird. So get a swig. Maybe? It smells like Gatorade. It smells like Frost Quencher, uh, whatever the glacier blue freeze. one. Yeah, the Glacier know. Freeze. I'm a Gatorade connoisseur. Glacier Freeze, cool. Blue. Glacier Freeze is the Got best Arctic Gatorade. Lakes. Easily. Glacier Arctic. Freeze is the best Gatorade. You can hold me to that. I I'm Gatorade connoisseur. So it smells exactly like they it. They got a really impressed me. With it smells stuff. good. Okay. Let let's see how it tastes. It's very sweet. It tastes really sweet. It is very sweet. It's not bad. Um... Most people really like this one. Um, and I, I do typically like sweet things. I don't know if it's just a little too sweet for me. Maybe I'd like it better if it was cold. Um, but it's not bad, actually. It's not It's not bad. Okay. You're hydrated. This is the one that everybody says is like the best. Great. It smells good. It smells it just smells like fruit just punch. Like Gatorade. 
Like it smells like, yeah, Gatorade, like Gatorade fruit punch. All right. This one's also very sweet, damn. Is it just me or does it have like a little tingle to your tongue when you first try it? A little bit, not really. I'm never much of a fruit punch guy. It's just not, not the flavor I typically go for, but it's not bad. I like this fruit punch flavor over Gatorade fruit punch. Really? Gatorade fruit punch tastes too artificial. This, this tastes a little, a little bit more like fresh. Sir, you're glowing. Next up, we got lemon lime. I usually do go for lemon lime. That is me. I'm I'm a very basic, basic person. <laughs> I typically go for lemon lime. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what ends up happening here. It, it smells like your typical lemon lime Gatorade. No surprise there. It smells good though, you know? It smells, yeah. It, it smells does smell like good. It smells, but it's like strong. It's like really strong. It smells really, it smells like limeade. Have you ever smelled like a- Kind of. Like lemon concentrate in those cream lemon bottles? Yeah, 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 yeah. It smells like that, just a little bit less strong. Yeah. Cause those are usually really strong. And they're usually always salty. Mm. Okay. It's not horrible. Like I, I if it was there, I probably would drink it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite though. It's not it's not terrible. And I don't know, maybe my opinion would change if they were cold. So I I I'll probably cold would taste so much better. I'll probably put them in the fridge and then like probably like I might, I might do that. So, okay. So I'm gonna add that to this review then. I'm gonna see how they taste cold. So right now, warm, like room temperature. Warm, they're not bad. They have room temperature, I think my rating is blue, green, red. Blue raspberry, lemon lime, tropical punch. In that order. They're not, they're not bad, okay? Do I think that some of these reviewers on YouTube are probably overhyping them a little bit? Maybe, maybe. I honestly think my personal tier list would be uh, lemon lime, then tropical punch, then blue raspberry. So this was warm. We're gonna go put them in the fridge and then we can just do this again when they're cold. 15 long and primeless minutes later. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cold prime. We left these in the freezer for about, I don't know, what, 15, 20 minutes now? You want to go in the same order that we did last time? Blue, red, then green? Sure, I'm down. Alright, bet. Alright, so we're gonna go with blue first and uh, see if it tastes any different shape or better cold. Obviously, we don't expect the flavor to change, just maybe be enhanced, you know? That's definitely better cold. It is. Anything's better cold. Yeah, it's better cold. It's a lot better cold. I mean, it obviously tastes the same, but it just tastes better cold. All right, Tropical Punch is next. It smells cold. Still tastes like your tri typical Tropical Punch, but cold. Better, obviously. Still not much of a Tropical Punch guy, but if it's cold, I'll have it. What are you thinking? It's like Pedialyte. Yikes. Especially okay. cold. Oof. You don't like it? I like PD light actually. Oh. It tastes worse cold. Does it? it? Tastes about the same. Just cold. Hmm. I thought it would it's better? No. Now my rating is blue, red, green. I might have to agree. Yeah, I think it's blue, red, green for me. Blue, Cold. Red, blue definitely got better though. Mm -hmm. Cold. Blue was superior cold. Uh, red, I think I'm just slightly biased on because I'm not much of a tropical punch person, but I think I'd have it cold over lemon lime. Which is strange, because it'd typically be the other way around. I mean, at the end of the day, I realize that it all really comes down to the taste of the person, right? Definitely. So, I mean, you know, some people are going to really like these, and then some people might just be pretty indifferent to them. Others might not like them that much. So, I mean, 
do I think maybe some YouTube reviewers are kind of exaggerating a little bit? Overreacting? Yeah. yeah. Little... I mean, but note that a lot of the reviewers I see doing it are reaction channels or yeah. that kind of thing. So they you know how to react. To they're, they're, yeah, it's their job. Um, but, you know, as someone who's not a reaction channel, uh, I, I'm i just being honest. Uh, they're not terrible, but maybe a tad bit overhyped. Anyway, uh, I think that'll be all for me and for him. Any So, uh, yeah. This was our prime review. It's it's like very late, but like we've been trying so hard to like find it for how long now? Like, it's ever mm, since it came out, I've been looking it's, at it. They, they haven't been anywhere and I finally managed to find them. It, I had to go out of my way to find them, but they're not bad, you know? So, um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Follow me on my socials are down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love my brother